we're back out again. It's New Year's Day, so Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you've all had a great Christmas. Um, and sorry the, uh, if it, the camera is wobbling a bit because it's, it's windy. very windy. But um, we've got the microphone. But we've got microphones, so it should be all right. So, uh, yes, yeah. rather than standing around and getting cold, let's see what we can find. It's annoying because we just got here and the sun's just gone in. It was really sunny on the way here, yeah. so hopefully that comes out again. But, yeah, as Marie said, let's get going. Hopefully there's no cows on this field. I don't Can't see so. any at the moment. I think we're so. good. Let's go. In a bit. Okay, Marie's just had a target. It was 87 on the day as two. Uh, she just wanted me to check it for her because it was showing an iron grunt in one direction. Um, oh, what are we thinking? Oh, that just broken off. No, no, it's, it's Is it like a, a hook? It's, or a, a, it's a, some form of... Handle or something. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's better than nothing though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're off and running. On to the next. Alright, been here about 15 minutes and we think Marie's got her first coin. A really good sounding target. Looks a bit blankety blank. Yes, okay. Yeah. Over here. Okay, well let's give it a clean. That's cool. Let's just do a little teeny bit of research and we'll ID that. Too well. See Britannia on the back there. It's a William the Third. Yeah, give it another quick squirt. I mean, it's not amazing condition, but it's not bad. You I've never make found it out. one of them before, though. No, bucket lister for Marie. Like I say, you can see Britannia just yeah. about on the back. That's like 16-something, though. Yeah, late 1600s, so... Awesome. That's cool. Very cool. Right. Let's carry on. Okay, here's my first target. Um, I think that's some sort of lever. Because I think... Of it would have been down there or like a switch. But that. off what, I do not know. It's got the little pin still in it though, which is cool. That's cool. Alright, next one for me is a bit of lead. So good getting back on this field. I think this field is the one with the most promise on this permission. Uh, we've not been able to come on here much because of all the cows, as you might know. So it's good to be back on here. Uh, let's keep going. Right, just had this one pop out the hole. It looks like a coin to me. Let's get her out and have a look. was 93 on the VDI. Mm. Well, it's not bad condition, whatever it is. I'll have to give it a clean. I'm thinking probably George III, maybe? Got a sort of telltale rim around the outside. That's just early guesses. So let's give it a clean. That right, is King George III, and that is pretty nice condition. For our field, anyway. Well, for this field, yeah. Nice. A year we in? might even get a year. Hang on, it'll say under Britannia, I believe. I think you're running out. I am running out. Uh, it might not be too visible. I think it will be once we get more water on it. You think? I don't know, it's pretty toasty. Yeah, maybe not. Oh well. That's nice though. Well, that'll polish up really nice. That's really good condition, that. Like you say, for this field. Oh no, hang on. I'm on the wrong side, look. 1806. Oh, I, I was sure it was on there. Usually, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Usually it's down there, isn't it? But no, I think George III was slightly different. Oh. oh well, there you go. Awesome. Oh, we're happy with that. Let's carry on. Right, next one up for me, just confirm with Marie, it's a little clog clasp. She's the expert on these. See, I'm not that fussed with clog clasps, I have to say. I don't really like them, I don't know why, but, but you do, don't you? Oh, they're so, cool. What's the matter with them? I don't know, they're just boring. Oh, I've got one that's got a fleur de lis on. A fleur de lis. Right. They're boring. They're part of history, they're just like buttons, but for clogs. Stop being stupid. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, I'll keep it. Uh, Marie's got one just here. Let's listen. Sounds pretty good, but she's having a little bit of trouble locating it, so we'll give her a hand. See what it is? Alright, really deep target. Have to dig further down. It's a massive bit of lead, so mm, it's, really heavy. it's really heavy. That's probably about a kilo. Mm -hmm. So money. Never mind. Let's carry on. 
All right, I was just wondering when a button would pop up, and lo and behold, there's a button. All right, I knew that would kick things off. I think there's a shank on this. Yeah, another button. Oh, we don't want buttons. No, we don't mind them really. Nothing special on this one though. Uh, maybe some gold gilt. Alright, on to the next one. We have really opened the floodgates now. That's three and ten minutes. Another button. But this one actually looks a little bit nicer. It's got some silvering on the front. It's just plain there. Never mind. Button to button. Right, let's carry on. I swear, if this is another button, I don't think it is, just judging from the sound of the uh, the detector over it and the fact there's no shank, which is a good sign. It's quite smooth. I'm going to have to give this one a clean, I think. Come back to you. There we go. It took a while to clean. Unfortunately, my spray bottle's running out. I'll have to get a top-up from Marie. Uh, it's, hip it's a Hibernian coin. Um half penny maybe I think it's George second if anyone can help me with that that would be great um, just going off the bust I'm pretty sure that's George second that's really cool though some pretty old coins on here today that's good right, let's carry on All right, Marie says she's got a thing what could a thing be what's your thing I mean, I don't know what it is, but it's a thing. I don't know. Weight or something? A ring? No. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to ask around for that one. Interesting. There you go. Right, I thought it was a bit of buckle to begin with, but it's pretty huge. I think this is, um, well, I don't know actually. Maybe some sort of fixing or something. Right, next one. Another coin? I hope so. It sounded pretty horrible. It was uh, giving off a bit of an iron grunt. So I don't know if there was something next to it or, or what. It looks Georgian in colour. Georgia third, maybe. Oh, this side is rough. Right, let's get that quick clean. Right, there we go, it's cleaned. Um, there's a lot of crust on there. I don't think we're going to be able to get much off that. So, it's actually down to the base metal on the back. So, not to worry, on to the next. Right, when I dug this up, I thought it looked familiar. I thought it looked a little bit like the bottom cap of a hand grenade. Uh, but I don't know, I don't know if it is. Um, could this be a cap off or something? Okay, next one up, a little lead shaped disc. It's not a spindle wall, I don't think. It could be a weight, maybe. Cool, on to next. Marie has come wandering over. She's found part of a buckle. Nice. Well done. All right, we're going to start heading off soon, aren't we? Yeah. It's actually getting a little bit dark. The clouds look a bit menacing. I'm just going to watch the charts and I'm going to go for a run. Exactly, and then we're going to have dinner. New Year's Day dinner. Roast pork, roast taters, veg, Yorkshires. Mm, hungry now. Alright, just stop the top of that hill and then we'll head back. Right, going to call it a day there guys. Um, sun's starting to go down a bit and we're hungry. See all the sheep in the background and no cows, yay! So, I think we're going to come back here again in the next few weeks for sure. Um, can you go home now and it's my birthday tomorrow so don't forget to say happy birthday to me <laughs> you got me present right yes i've got your present yes. um yeah we're going out for the day to ambleside and then kendall get something to eat there um so we'll see you on the next episode bye, bye for now.